Bra MOS is a short-range ramjet supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft or land. It is a joint venture between the Russian Federation's NPO Machinist Roania and India's Defense Research and Development Organization who have together formed Bra MOS Aerospace Private Limited. The name Bra MOS is a portmanteau formed from the names of two rivers, the Brahmaputra of India and the MOS KVA of Russia. It is based on the Russian P-800 Onyx cruise missile and other similar sea-skimming Russian cruise missile technology. It is the world's fastest cruise missile in operation. The missile travels at speeds of Mach 2.8 to 3.0. The land-launched and ship-launched versions are already in service, with the air and submarine-launched versions currently in the testing phase. An air-launched variant of Bra MOS is planned which is expected to come out in 2012 and will make India the only country with supersonic cruise missiles in their army, navy, and air force. A hypersonic version of the missile namely Bra MOS II is also presently under development with speed of Mach 7 to boost aerial fast strike capability. It is expected to be ready for testing by 2017. Though India had wanted the Bra MOS to be based on a mid range cruise missile like P 700 Granite, Russia opted for the shorter range sister of the missile, P 800 Onyx, in order to comply with missile technology control regime restrictions, to which Russia is a signatory. Its propulsion is based on the Russian missile, and guidance has been developed by Bra MOS Aerospace. The missile is expected to reach a total order worth 13 billion US dollars. Origin, the Bra MOS has been developed as a joint venture between the Defense Research and Development Organization of India and the Federal State Unitary Enterprise NPO Machinistroyenia of Russia under Bra MOS Aerospace. The missile is named after two rivers, the Brahmaputra and the MOS KVA. Since late 2004, the missile has undergone several tests from a variety of platforms including a land-based test from the Pokhran Range in the desert in which the S Manuva at Mach 2.8 was demonstrated for the Indian Army and a launch in which the land attack capability from sea was demonstrated. Kelk, an Indian state-owned firm was acquired by Bra MOS Corporation in 2008. Approximately 15 billion will be invested in the facility to make Bra MOS components and integrate the missile systems. This was necessitated by the increased order book of the missile system, with orders having been placed by both the Indian Army and Navy. Out of a total share capital of approximately $300 million, India's financial contribution has been 50.5%. Development, Surface-to-Surface -surface Variant Bra MOS was first test-fired on June 12, 2001 from the integrated test range, Chandipur in a vertical launch configuration. On June 14, 2004 another test was conducted at ITR and Bra MOS was fired from a mobile launcher. On March 5, 2008, the land attack version of the missile was fired from the destroyer INSRA JPUT and the missile hit and destroyed the right target among a group of targets. The vertical launch of Bra MOS was conducted on December 18, 2008 from INS Ranbir. The Bra MOS I Block I for the Army was successfully tested with new capabilities in the deserts of Rajasthan, at a test range near Pakaran in December 2004 and March 2007. During a user trial on January 20, 2009, Bra MOS was tested with a new navigation system but it failed to hit the target. Bra MOS Aerospace Corporation's director Dr. Shiv Thanu Pillai said, the missile performance was absolutely normal until the last phase, but the missile missed the target, though it maintained the direction. And that the problem was in the software, not hardware. The Defense Research and Development Organization said that there were small hitches in the last stage of the test firing, which was attributed that to the U.S. GPS satellites, which were switched off on that day as Barack Obama was sworn in as the President of the United States. The missile traveled for 112 seconds instead of the slated 84 seconds and fell 7 km away from the target. According to Bra MOS Corporation, another test of the new missile was to be conducted within one month, but it was eventually conducted on March 4, 2009 and was deemed successful. Bra MOS was test-fired again on March 29, 2009. For the test, 
the missile had to identify a building among a cluster of buildings in an urban environment. BrahMOS successfully hit the intended target in two and a half minutes of launch. According to official sources, the new seeker is unique and would help us to hit our targets, which are insignificant in terms of size, in a cluster of large buildings. India is now the only nation in the world with this advanced technology after the third test, Lieutenant General Noble Thambaraj, said that the Indian Army wanted the Bra MOS to achieve high standards of accuracy and congratulated the scientists on behalf of the Indian Army. The Indian Army confirmed that the test was extremely successful and the Army is absolutely satisfied with the missile. This marking the completion of the development phase of Bra MOS Block II, and it was ready for induction. On March 21, 2010, Bra MOS was test fired and struck a free floating ship, piercing it above the waterline and destroying it completely. The test proved the missile's ability to maneuver at supersonic speed before hitting a target, making India the first and only country to have a maneuverable supersonic cruise missile. The 5 September 2010 test of Bra MOS created a world record for being the first cruise missile to be tested at supersonic speeds in a steep dive mode. The missile was test fired from the Integrated Test Range Launching Complex 3 at Chandipur around 11.35 am. With this launch, the Army's requirement for land attacks with Block I advanced seeker software with target discriminating capabilities was met. Bra MOS became the only supersonic cruise missile possessing advanced capability of selection of a particular land target amongst a group of targets, providing an edge to the user with precise hit. The Block III version of the missile was successfully test fired by India on December 2, 2010, from Integrated Test Range at Chandipur off the Orissa coast. Block III had advanced guidance and upgraded software, incorporating high maneuvers at multiple points and steep dive from high altitude. The steep dive capability of the Block III enables it to hit targets hidden behind a mountain range. It will be deployed in Arunachal Pradesh. It can engage ground targets from an altitude as low as 10 meters for surgical strikes without any collateral damage. It is capable of being launched from multiple platforms like submarines, ships, aircraft and land-based mobile autonomous launchers. On August 12, 2011, it was test-fired by ground forces and met all mission parameters. It was test-fired by an Indian Army unit on March 4, 2012 at the Pakaran Range in Rajasthan to operationalize the 2nd Regiment of the Weapons System in the Army. The test was attended by senior Army officials including Vice Chief Lieutenant General Shri Krishna Singh and Director General Military Operations LT General A.K. Shoutari. With this test, the 2nd Bra MOS unit of the Indian Army became operational. Another development test was conducted on July 29, 2012 from ITR. This was the 32nd test of a missile. The test was deemed successful from an experimental point of view, but did not meet all mission parameters. This test was done to evaluate more than 25 subsystems of the missile which were produced by the Indian industry, like the power systems, materials for airframe components, guidance scheme and various electric systems. The test data was sent for analysis and used for large-scale indigenous production of the missile. The analysis revealed that except for one subsystem, all other subsystems and components had performed as per the requirement. The malfunction of one subsystem resulted in increase in velocity of the missile, which crossed the limit and the mission was aborted. The defect was rectified and further development flight tests were announced to develop self-reliance. On October 7, 2012, the Indian Navy successfully test-fired Bra MOS from the guided missile frigate INS Teg. This new highly maneuverable version was fitted with advanced satellite navigation systems turning it into a super rocket capable of hitting targets over 300 Euro 500 a km from sea, land and air launchers, and capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. On April 7, 2014, one of the Army's missile regiment tested a modified and upgraded Block II missile with steep dive come target discrimination mode suitable for mountain warfare. It is capable of performing deep penetration strikes against hardened targets. This variant will be deployed with a newly raised Mountain Strike Corps at Panuga in West Bengal under the Eastern Army Command.
On July 8, 2014, BrahMos Aerospace conducted the 44th test launch of the missile from the ITA to a target designated 290 km away. It was the first test of the missile in supersonic dive mode against a hidden land target using a new Indian software algorithm and multiple satellite navigation systems for guidance, without the usual homing system. The new navigation system uses an Indian chip called G30M. The system weighs around 17 grams, and gives accuracy below 5 meters using Indian, US and Russian navigation satellites. The system can be used in tandem with an inertial navigation system to provide high accuracy targeting without using any seeker. Submarine launched variant The submarine launched variant of BrahMos was test fired successfully for the first time from a submerged pontoon near Visakhapatnam at the coast of Bay of Bengal on March 20, 2013. This was the first vertical launch of a supersonic missile from a submerged platform. The missile can be launched from a depth of 40 to 50 am. Air launched variant. BrahMosa. The BrahMosa is a modified air launched variant of the missile which will arm the Su 30 MKI of the Air Force as a standoff weapon. To reduce the missile's weight to 2.55 tons, many modifications were made, like using a smaller booster, adding fins for airborne stability after launch, and relocating the connector. It can be released from the height of 500 to 14,000 meters. After release, the missile free falls for 100 to Euro 150 meters, then goes into a cruise phase at 14,000 meters and finally the terminal phase at 15 meters. BrahMos Aerospace plans to deliver the missile to the IAF in 2015, where it is expected to arm at least three squadrons. The missile was also planned to arm the Indian Navy's Ilyushin Il-38 and two Polar to 142 maritime patrol and anti-submarine aircraft with six missiles per aircraft, but this could not be made possible due to insufficient ground clearance of the IL-38, high cost of modifying the to 142 and the questionable benefits of modifying an aging fleet. The air-launched version for the Indian Air Force was ready for testing in 2008. An expert committee from the DRDO and the Indian Air Force had ruled out any structural modifications to the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI to carry the missile. On October 22, 2008, A. Shiv Thanu Pillai, Chief Controller, R&D, DRDO and CEO and Managing Director of BrahMos Aerospace, announced that trials and tests were to be carried out by 2011, and the IAF would get its own version of BrahMos by 2012. On January 10, 2009, it was reported that two Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI fighter jets were sent to Russia for a retrofit program that would enable them to launch the missile. On August 8, 2009, Alexander Leonov, director of the Russian Machine Building Research and Production Center, said we are ready for test launches. He also said that a new takeoff engine for launching of the missile in air and at extreme high altitudes had been developed and the initial test firing of the missile would be undertaken from the Su-30 MKI, but did not specify the dates. On February 26, 2012, A. Shiv Thanu Pillai said that the air-launched version of BrahMos is being developed and will be tested by the end of 2012. This version of the BrahMos missile will use air-breathing scramjet propulsion technology and would be more fuel-efficient than a traditional rocket-powered missile. The purchase of over 200 air-launched BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles for the IAF was cleared by Cabinet Committee on Security on October 19, 2012, at the cost of 60 billion. This would include funds for the integration and testing of the BrahMos on Su-30 MKI of the IAF. As per this plan, the first test of the air-launched version of the missile was to be conducted by December 2012. Two Su-30 MKI of the IAF would be modified by the HAL at its Nashik facility where they will also be integrated with the missile's aerial launcher. The trial is now expected to happen in early 2014. BrahMos M. A new, smaller variant of the air-launched BrahMos is also under development. This variant would arm the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, Mirage 2000, future inductions such as the 126 Dassault Rafale and the Indian Navy's MiG-29KA model of the new variant was showcased on February 20, 2013.
at the 15th anniversary celebrations of Bra MOS Corporations. The miniaturized version would also have a range of 290 km, but it will be shorter by 3 meters as compared to the present missile. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI would carry three missiles while other combat aircraft would carry one each. The missile will have a length of 6 meters and diameter of 0.5 meter with speed of Mach 3.5. The system is expected to be inducted in the year 2017. Further developments, UCAV variant, APJ Abdul Kalam asked Bra MOS Aerospace to develop an advanced version of the Bra MOS cruise missile to maintain India's lead in the field. He stated, he said that a hypersonic version of Bra MOS which can be reused as needed, which will be able to deliver its payload and return to base. This would turn Bra MOS into a UCAV. Bra MOS II Bra MOS II is a hypersonic cruise missile currently under development and is estimated to have a range of 290 km. Like the Bra MOS, the range of Bra MOS II has also been limited to 290 km to comply with the MTCR. With a speed of Mach 7, it will have double the speed of the current Bra MOS missile and it will be the fastest hypersonic missile in the world. Specifications Bra MOS has the capability of attacking surface targets by flying as low as 5 meters in altitude and the maximum altitude it can fly is 14,000 meters. It has a diameter of 70 centimeters and a wingspan of 1.7 m. It can gain a speed of Mach 2.8, and has a maximum range of 290 km. One. The ship launched and land based missiles can carry a 200 kg warhead, whereas the aircraft launched variant can carry a 300 kg warhead. It has a two stage propulsion system, with a solid propellant rocket for initial acceleration and a liquid fueled ramjet responsible for sustained supersonic cruise. Air breathing ramjet propulsion is much more fuel efficient than rocket propulsion, giving the Bra MOS a longer range than a pure rocket powered missile would achieve. The high speed of the Bra MOS likely gives it better target penetration characteristics than lighter subsonic cruise missiles such as the Tomahawk. Being twice as heavy and almost four times faster than the Tomahawk, the Bra MOS has more than 32 times the on-cruise kinetic energy of a Tomahawk missile, although it carries only 3-5 the payload and a fraction of the range despite weighing twice as much, which suggests that the missile was designed with a different tactical role. Its 2.8 Mach speed means that it cannot be intercepted by some existing missile defense system and its precision makes it lethal to water targets. Although Bra MOS was primarily an anti-ship missile, the Bra MOS Block 3 can also engage land-based targets. It can be launched either in a vertical or inclined position and is capable of covering targets over a 360-degree horizon. The Bra MOS missile has an identical configuration for land sea, and subsea platforms. The air-launched version has a smaller booster and additional tail fins for added stability during launch. The Bra MOS is currently being configured for aerial deployment with a Su-30 MKI as its carrier. On September 5, 2010 Bra MOS created a record for the first supersonic steep dive. Variants, surface launched, block I, ship launched, anti-ship variant, ship launched, land attack variant, land launched, land attack variant, land launched, anti-ship variant, surface launched, upgraded variants, Bra MOS Block 2 land attack variant, Bra MOS Block 3 land variant, anti-aircraft carrier variant Euro the missile gained the capability to attack aircraft carriers using the supersonic vertical dive variant of the missile that could travel up to 290 km. Air launched, Air launched, anti-ship variant, air launched, land attack variant, air launched, miniaturized variant, submarine launched, submarine launched, anti-ship variant a Euro tested successfully for the first time from a submerged pontoon on March 20, 2013. Submarine launched, land attack variant, production and deployment. India and Russia intend to make 2000 Bra MOS supersonic cruise missiles over the next 10 years through their joint venture company, and nearly 50% of them are expected to be exported to friendly countries. India, Indian Navy, by April 2013.
Brahmos has been inducted in eight warships of the Indian Navy. The following ship classes of the Navy are equipped with Brahmos, RAJPUT class destroyers a Euro INS RAJPUT has its existing 2P-15 Termit ASHM replaced with four Brahmos missiles and two twin inclined launchers within 2003. INS Ranveer and INS Ranvijay were armed with 18 cell Brahmos VLS launcher. Talwar class frigate to Euro the three later ships, INS Teg, INS Tarkash, INS Trike and were armed with 18 cell Brahmos VLS launcher. Shivalik class frigate to Euro the three frigates in this class are armed with 18 cell Brahmos VLS launcher. Kolkata class destroyer a Euro armed with 28 cell Brahmos VLS launchers. Indian Army, the Brahmos Block I was inducted into the Army on June 21, 2007. The Brahmos has been inducted in three regiments of the Indian Army. The Army has raised one regiment of the Mark I and two missile regiments of the Brahmos Mark II, numbered 862 and 863. The first regiment with five mobile launcher cost $83 million to set up. Each of the two new regiments would have between four and six batteries of three to four mobile autonomous launchers that can be connected to a mobile command post. All these regiments will be part of the Army's existing 40th and 41st Artillery Divisions. The operational BRA-MOS regiments are, 861 Regiment, 862 Regiment, 863 Regiment, 864 Regiment, Russia, Russian Navy, According to unspecified sources the Brahmos could be fitted to the updated Gorshkov class of frigates which will be entering the Russian Navy soon. The Defense Ministry reported that due to the size and hull specifications of the Brahmos, few if any of its new ships will be able to accommodate it. Export, several countries including Vietnam, South Africa, Egypt, Oman, and Brunei have expressed interest in the missile. In February 2010, a senior executive said that BRAMOS was in negotiations with Chile, Brazil, South Africa and Indonesia regarding the purchase of the missile. Malaysia is also reported to be considering the purchase of the missile for use on its D-class warships and fighter jets. Informal negotiations are ongoing between India and Vietnam for the sale of BRAMOS missiles. BRAMOS Aerospace has said that several Southeast Asian and Latin American countries have expressed interest in the system, with particular interest in naval and coastal defense versions, and that a definite list of countries exists. Industry sources say some interested countries include Vietnam, Indonesia, and Venezuela. The intergovernmental agreement between India and Russia to develop the BRAMOS stipulates that both countries would have to approve an export sale. See also, P-800 Onyx Coves 401 Perseus a Euro A stealth supersonic cruise missile under development by MBDA for the UK and France. CX-1, YJ-12, References External links, BRAMOS Missile Official Website, the Brahmastra, the IT in India Euro Unregistered Trademark S Cruise Missile, BRAMOS Production Status Features and advantages of the BRAMOS supersonic missile. Infographics, Indian Army to get world's first supersonic cruise missiles July 26, 2006, effect of BRAMOS hit on a Petya class frigate, supersonic cruise missile BRAMOS inducted into Indian Defence Forces a Euro GOVT. Of India press release a Euro November 29, 2006, video. Complete video of BRAMOS missile testing and targeting, BRAMOS video, BRAMOS, headlines today, precision target hit.